welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm working on my kitchen, cleaning, organizing, packing. If you are new here, me and my family are moving to Florida um, before August, so we only have a couple more weeks to pack up our house and get things ready to move. Um, so I am moving pretty quickly. Every day I have been packing and organizing. The plan is to get my entire house organized and decluttered before we go. I don't want to bring any baggage with us. I want to start off fresh since this is a huge move for us. Um, I've lived in Georgia for eight years, so this is the first opportunity I've ever had to move back um, to Florida where, where I'm from. So I am extremely excited and I cannot get this house packed up fast enough. <laughs> but so right now, as you can see, I'm starting in the kitchen. I'm just going to pack up all of my coffee bar um, stuff, decorations, and all that today in any of the glassware that we don't use on a regular basis. And then we are going to start decluttering the cabinets. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's no doubt in my mind Baby, you're the one And tonight I am going all the way mm -hmm. The way you touch my So as you can see, I'm just wrapping everything in this packing paper and putting it in the box. And I put the sheet in the box just to give some extra cushion at the bottom. And I will wrap that sheet around everything just to really secure everything in the box so nothing can shake around or move whenever the um, moving truck is, you know, going down the road. Things kind of shake around. I want to make sure that none of my glassware breaks. On. Yeah, I'm strapped in, stuck in a song. You can't turn off like a merry go round. So after I pack up each box, I try to write on the box right away so I don't get confused of what's in there. So I just write like a brief description and then um, I write down what room it belongs to. That way whoever's helping us move, whenever we go to move into our new place, they can just take that box directly to that room. It'll just make my life so much easier when it comes to unpacking. Um, and then now I'm just going through the top cabinets and just figuring out what glassware and stuff that we're not using right now. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that up as well. I bet you think that I should calm down. And that I'm overthinking everything about you. And that we're good the way we are. guys so I just wanted to update you on where I'm at right now with packing so yesterday I posted the video of me packing up the living room I've gotten everything off the walls except for the curtains and this um, glass window and in the kitchen I've gotten all the decorations down as well and most of the like glassware that we don't really use packed away next step is working next 
<laughs> Next up is working underneath of the kitchen cabinets and those are so bad because that's where I keep all my crafting stuff and a lot of times I just like throw it in there and shut the cabinet door and go about my business but it has gotten out of control under there. There's tons of stuff that needs to go in the trash that is either empty or that I will never use. Um, so I'm going to get a box ready to get rid of stuff and then a box to pack this stuff up. My plan is to organize it. That way when we move, I know where all my screws, all my nails, all that is. I'm going to try to film as much of it as I can. It is probably going to take me like all day to get that part done because there's a lot of screws in there that are just like floating around. But I'll try to film a little bit of it and then I'll show you guys how it looks after I've organized it and all that. So let's just get started. All right, y'all. So this is my cabinets down here. There is like a just massive amount of stuff in these two drawers. And I don't even know what's in this. I don't even know what's back there. Let me turn on the light if it will. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So we just got a disaster under here. And while I'm at it, I figured I would go ahead and do the cabinets that are above the washer and dryer because once again they're arts and crafts and a bunch of like cleaning supplies that I put up high so the kids can't get to them but like all this right here is super unorganized oh my gosh this is just so bad <laughs> and there's a bunch of play-doh right here too so I gotta go through all this what I'm gonna do is take everything out and put it on the kitchen table so that way I can physically see what I got and start eliminating stuff we are who we Alright, so right here I'm just going through and whatever we are keeping is going to go in this um, box right here for the kids. That's like their, um, you know, books, coloring pencils, Play-Doh, all their craft stuff and their pu like puzzles, uh, games for the family will all go in here. Then all the chemicals I'm going to separate and put in um, Walmart bags and pack those away. Those are things that are pretty much brand new that I haven't used yet that actually my friend gave to me when she moved. So now that I'm moving, I don't want to just get rid of all this stuff. It's, you know, I it costs money to buy new chemicals and new cleaning stuff. So I am going to take whatever I can with us um, just to prevent us from having to spend more money. Never had before All the way down By the river I found a place where I Can 
and drown the old you. And when you look on the horizon, what you see is what you get. A sparkle in a diamond and the southern sunset. right here I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it just yet um, I need the weed eater string to weed eat the yard this um, box back here I'm going to give to our neighbor I need the sunscreen so it's kind of just a bunch of like random stuff that we usually use um, these are just the kids crayons and stuff I'm going to keep those out to keep them occupied I emptied out the play-doh box and got rid of a ton of that that was just old dried out play-doh this is our little donation bin um, this right here is all the kids' workbooks, um, puzzles, games, stuff like that. Then down here I have a box going with my crafting stuff and some of my cleaning supplies that I'm probably not going to use here. Um, these are the cleaning supplies that I will be using. Um, I can't find the lid to this. It just like fell off and I don't know where it went. So, um, But I'm going to be using those cleaning supplies to clean the house before we leave. And then these are just random decor pieces that were in the cabinets. So, Oh, and then this is all trash. And there was one more bag of trash. I can't. Oh, I put it in the trash bag already. But so far, so good. I went through a ton of stuff, got rid of a lot. And now I'm going to start working on um, underneath the sink and pulling this stuff out. But this time, instead of putting it all on the table, I'm just going to put it right here on the floor. That way I don't have to keep like walking back and forth. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out So I just wanted to explain that the basket that's sitting in front of me are all the things we're keeping and everything in the clear containers as I go through it. If I know I'm keeping it, it's going in that blue basket for now until I get those containers empty and then I can organize everything back into those containers.
right, you guys. So this part got super tedious, so I decided not to film um, the whole portion of it, but I figured I'd show you what I have going on now that it's all organized. So right here, these are all my screws and um, tacks and stuff like that in those two little containers. I have all these batteries that need to go um, to be recycled. I have all my tools now are in my little toolbox or pouch, wherever, where they're supposed to be. <laughs> and then this is all my crafting stuff in this top one. There's some like crafting paint in here. And then down here are our light bulbs and some of our switches just in case we move and we want to change those out. So those are just some extras that are in there. Um, over here, this pink bin is the donation stuff. Um, this is all the cleaning supplies, vacuum, um, hoses that is kind of just miscellaneous stuff that I'm going to take with us. I'm probably going to go through this one more time just to make sure. And if my sister-in-law who lives here wants any of this stuff, I'm going to give like cleaning supplies wise. I'm going to go ahead and give to her so we don't have to tote it around. And all of these cleaning supplies will stay here as well. I'm probably going to go through them once I finish cleaning up and stuff. There's just an extra sponge, a little duster, some cleaning stuff, so. Oh my gosh, y'all. It looks so empty in here without any decorations on the wall. It's crazy what just like a little bit of stuff hanging on the wall does for a place because, I mean, look at this. Looks like I just moved in and I'm actually just moving out. This is all the stuff um, so far I've got stacked up. A lot of these boxes are still empty like all these are. I'm just kind of using this basket to help me carry stuff around. Um, and this one's not even full yet. But all this stuff in this pink bin and this clear one will be going to Goodwill um, or somewhere local I can donate it to. I gotta call around and see who's accepting donations right now. But I have to do that. That's all that stuff. These are some shoes that are going to um, in here to my sister-in-law for my nephew but anyway so far so good hey you guys so it is now almost five o'clock I have been packing and cleaning since like nine this morning I am exhausted but I feel so good at the same time because I got rid of so much stuff and it feels great to have clean cabinets even though I'm moving they're not gonna be my clean cabinets anymore but it feels good that they're empty and everything is organized for when we go to move into our new place. I'm super excited. I've been getting a ton of questions on where we are moving. We do not have a place yet. Um, we are actually moving into a family owned house that is on a piece of property and we will be living there until we find a rental. It's just really hard to find a rental while we're here. Um, we can't travel back and forth to go look at places and I definitely do not want to try to get into a place without me seeing it. So. Um, we're not going to try to start looking until we get down there, so that I hope that answers some of y'all's questions, but we do have a place to stay, and it will be just us in the place. Um, like I said, it's a family-owned house, and I've mentioned it in my other um, video, like update video, when I talked about like we were moving to Florida. I will link that down below in case you missed that video. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. I hope this motivated you to get some of your cabinets decluttered. I promise you, if you just get it done, it'll make you feel a lot better, like I feel right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, y'all.